Okay, I've got another new video for you guys. Um, I've got this one under the basics uh, uh, for uh, um, for users, but uh, this really could be used by a configurator, uh, possibly even an ABOP developer, um, to find the table that belongs to uh, fields that you see on a screen. So I'm going to take this material group as an example. Let's say I wanted to find the table that stores all these material groups. Uh, let me show you the best way to do this. Uh, you could potentially, uh, in a, especially in a production environment, run into some security issues. So you might have to try this in a different environment where, you, where you've got um, uh, more permissions. So, so let me show you how you would find the table for material groups. Simply uh, just navigate to the field, press F1, and then you want to uh, go ahead and move to the um, technical information. So we'll click on that button there. Now, um, so Mara, right, of course, that's storing the material master. Uh, but I really want to get down to what table is storing these material groups. And I don't want to go to the field label. I want to, I want to drill into the data element. And you can double click right here on this data element. Or with your cursor in this field, you can click on navigate either way. That's going to take me into the data dictionary, and now I'm looking at the data element. And the data element's not going to um, tell me where this data is stored. In order to get that, I got to get down to the domain. So you, you want to come here, and you can just double click on the domain. Then you want to navigate to the value range, and then here is your table down at the bottom, the value table. Um, so in in and this is an example, of course, where, where there's a table. Um, in some cases, you may not have a value table, and there could be uh, values stored um, uh, in these tables here, uh, intervals or single values. Let's go ahead and double click on the value table, though. And then let's, let's look at its contents. So I'm going to select the contents, and we'll go ahead and execute that. So there you go. So there's table T023 and all the material groups that have been configured. And notice over here, right, I've got some descriptions uh, in these last columns here, uh, W, G, B, E, Z. But if, I, if I go back, you'll notice that those fields are not part uh, of this table. And that, that is because this table has a text table associated with it that can store descriptions in various languages. And if you want to find the text table that goes with T023, uh, you want to um, uh, simply uh, do a go to text table. And there is your text table, T023. And you can display the contents of that. I'll put in English and run it and there I get the entries and uh, the material groups and the descriptions that are set up uh, for them. Um, so that is one easy way to find uh, the table uh, behind a field that you might see on a screen. I'm going to back all the way out here. Um, now another, you could be coming at this from, a, from another angle where you still need to find the table. So I'm going to press F1 here again. And I'm going to actually click on the customizing button, and I'm going to navigate to the um, to the IMG and uh, look at the customization for the um, material groups. So I could I could have been in the IMG and, and potentially um, defining some new material groups, and uh, and maybe I wanted to know again uh, what table. Was you know, let me get up so you can see where this sat under logistics general material master define material groups. Maybe I want to know what table uh, material groups was stored in. Um, so if I, what you can do here is just right click, display technical information, go to maintenance objects, and this is going to actually point me to the view. So v zero twenty three. Simply going to copy that. Go to se eleven. And you can actually paste that in the database table or the view option, doesn't matter. And display. And then click on table and joins. And there you go. There's my two tables. There's my T023 and then the text table that belongs to it. And you can actually 
double click on both of these from here to, to get to those tables. And there you go, and there's the text table. All right, so you can do that with uh, many uh, fields that you uh, see on, on various um, screens that you're using in SAP. Hope that was helpful to you. Thanks for watching the video.